There's a cool app called Bellis 3D Face App that will help get a 3D model into your scene. Check it out. So here's a real quick way to get a 3D model of your head inside a 3D software. It's uh, using an app called Bellis 3D and the result is pretty good. So if you go to Bellis 3D website, scroll down to Face Maker and you can download the app from the Apple App Store. Looks like you have a Face Camera Pro for Android. I think that's the true depth camera that you need that is built into the new iPhone. So on the Apple App Store, you want to type Bellis 3D. This is what Bellis 3D Face App will look like. It requires iPhone with Face ID and the true depth camera. Before the scan, it will give you directions what you need to do. So you want to get your head in the green circle and then you're going to look at the camera. You're going to turn to the left, turn to the middle, turn to the right, turn to the middle, tilt your head up, turn to the middle, tilt your head down, turn to the middle. Once that capture is complete, it will process. So once that's uploaded, uh, you'll get a scan of your head. You can notice by this scan, um, obviously you didn't look, your, your, your back of your head didn't look at the camera. It's kind of filled in the blanks. Um, there's a little clump around the ear, but that could be smoothed out in uh, Cinema 4D or your other 3D software of your choice. This is not a not a bad scan. Um, I did another one which I thought looked a bit better. So once you have your 3D models, you can go to my models. So your 3D model will give you a few options with um, lighting. So to get the model, you have to go to export and then to unlock it, it costs you 99 cents, which is not too bad for a 3D model. Gives you options to export numerous ways. I just choose Google Drive. Once you have downloaded your zip file, you'll get a OBJ, a material and a JPEG file for your model. So here in Cinema 4D, I'm just gonna bring in the model. I'm going to create a material, import my JPG file. And if I click MB on the keyboard, you can see the uh, polygons, which is very heavy. So working with this many polygons could slow down your computer. So if you use a polygon reduction, once you've done that, if you right click and select children, right click again, connect objects plus delete that would be one object that'd be like a low poly head with my model i was pretty happy with the the end result i was only going to have the head shown from the front uh, the ear had a bit of a clump in it i'm not very good at it but if you go to sculpt you can smooth it out a little bit and then also around the neck area you can just make it like a little bit better but uh, the result you get is pretty good and in the Octane render, that's what it looks like. Using soft dynamics, but it's really slow on my computer. I was able to do something like that. And here's what I did in another video. I used a ball to separate my head into three pieces to make this. So there's some pretty cool stuff that you can do. Uh, it's worth checking out. Uh, if, you found this, if you found this video helpful, please give me a like. I would appreciate that. Have fun playing with... 3D heads.